Good day everyone. Uh, here's just a little tip that I figured out. Maybe it's a little discovery even. Thought I'd share it with you. My wood stove, I use my wood stove to heat my home. Now maybe you use it to heat your home or your garage or perhaps a little camp. One way or another, it's a piece of equipment. It needs to be taken care of. Now unfortunately, I have this odd, uh, this odd leak in the roof that dribbles a little bit of water every now and again and it was causing rust on the top of my stove. Now, in the past, I used to use a stove polish. Now, the stuff is cheap, but it's really messy, and if you compare, this, this door here has had stove polish put on it. It is admittedly a little more than a year, too old worth of polish, but as you can tell, as you can tell, it it leaves you this kind of grayish thing, and the heat causes it to flake off and to burn. And worse yet, any time you go to touch the door, it's dirty. It's always dirty, and this dirt is not from the soot. Uh, I could do this at any part of the stove just by wiping my finger, and it'll leave a little bit of a mess. On the other hand, we have plain old cooking oil. In this case flax oil and the notion behind that is this is how one takes care of their cast iron stoves it's nice it's clean it's slip free and it's more or less waterproof so long as uh, the coating is on there one of the nice things about flax uh, about flaxseed oil is that when it heats up it changes uh, from an oil to almost like an enamel so I wondered what would happen if I used it on the top of my stove. So yesterday, you know, I tried a little patch right here and it seemed to work really well. So yesterday I took a steel brush to the top of my stove just as a test to see what it was. And it's really simple. You just grab yourself a little bit of oil, plunk it on, maybe a tablespoon per side. You know, you, you'll figure it out as you go. And uh, simple paper towels, simple white paper towels. Spread it across evenly on your clean surface. And um, after that, burn, uh, burn it off. Now, the trick is, I've discovered, um, for the first one or two burns, do it slowly. In other words, you want a low heat. I have an older stove. A lot of the heat collects right about here. So... The, the first time this burned off because it's easy for me to reach 900 degrees, maybe even 1,000 at this part of the pipe higher, which means that this is around 1,000 degrees. It is, after all, just cooking oil. It will burn off. But if you do it low, at a low temperature, that means no more than one log, and extend it over a period of time, what you end up with is this nice enamel-like finish to it and the, what's nice about this is I can touch it with my hands and it's not dirty now I often cook on here this this is just a little um, it, it's it's just to help you adjust the temperature if you want to put your kettle on it you know it allows it, it reduces the heat when I was using uh, the, the polish here well, the polish once it burned off also stuck to everything that I touched. My my big my what I dislike about the stove polish is that it's dirty to apply, it's dirty in use, and to me the finish isn't all that attractive. So this is the test. The test is uh, flaxseed oil. I think it's a really nice look. It's nice and black and shiny. And best of all, it's low maintenance. Um, I probably will uh, condition it two or three more times just because, I don't know, just because I think it'll probably need to be done. Uh, this will be to your own test, but compare the two. Decide which you find most attractive. And maybe this is a little tip that could be useful for you. So, if so... Enjoy and let me know what your results were.